Hey everybody, what's up? So this is a continuation of my last video I put out. Um, the last video we actually started scripting a terminal-based file manager using FZF. Um, we got some basic uh, UI done and some controls, some key bindings, some preview windows and stuff like that. Um, I've been working on it for the past couple weeks and I've got it to the point now to where it's pretty much useful to do just about anything any of the other um, file managers can do. Now not everything, I'm not quite done with it yet, I've still got some some polishing up to do and a few little features to add here and there but for the most part it is a working usable file manager and I'm pretty happy with it so let's just go ahead and take a look so let's go ahead and launch a terminal and let's clear the screen and zoom in here now what I'm gonna do here is I'm actually going to well now let's go ahead and take a look at this look at the uh, script first let's CD into FZFM for fuzzy file manager um, if I do an ls, you can see I've got a creator.sh, a createfile.sh. I've got a uh, PNG, which is just a picture for the GitHub um, for the readme. Um, I have the readme right there, and then I have the script fzfm.sh. So let's go ahead and vim into fzfm.sh. Um, and this is basically it. If we scroll down to the bottom here, you can see there's not a whole lot to it. Um, there's actually less than 100 lines. You're looking at about 80 lines. Um, and it does quite a bit of stuff. Now, if you include the lines in the two scripts that I call, um, you're looking at maybe close to 100 lines. But uh, for the most part, that's it. Um, you can see it's basically just a function that calls FCFM. Um, and it runs a while loop. And that while loop prints LSD-A-1 into FCF, and then we give it some flags. And we've got some binds here, so we're gonna bind the left key to move up in the file tree, so up to the parent directory. Um, the bind right is going to accept, or press enter, or enter into that directory, or act on that file. Uh, shift up is going to um, actually scroll the preview window up and shift down is going to scroll the preview window down. Uh, control D is going to execute the create directory script which is going to allow us to create a directory from within the menu. Uh, control F is going to execute that create file script which is going to actually let us create and add a new file to the directory. Um, control T is going to execute trash, so that is going to delete the selected item and move it to the trash. Um, I am using trash instead of RM because um, I've got myself in trouble using RM, so I actually installed trash CLI um, not too long ago, so I've been using that. Uh, but it will run uh, the trash command on the currently selected item and then reload the script, so it will reload and update the changes. Uh, control C will copy um, and then, um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. Um, so control C will copy to um, the, it'll create a temp directory and copy whatever you're in to that location and then control G when you move through the script to a different directory will paste what you just copied into that. So basically you can copy a file over. Um, I still have to add functionality to um, move files, but that's basically gonna be the same procedure. You're just gonna have to, instead of copy to the temp directory, it's gonna move to the temp directory. Then when you go to the next location and then move it to that location, it'll take it out. And anyway, uh, you'll see as I was. Space is gonna toggle. Um, which I had multi set up in here. I don't think I do anymore because I, oh yeah, I do. I still have multi set up. I haven't really figured out how to act on that yet. I haven't spent much time doing it, so I got to do a little looking up. Uh, we got our color set up here. We've got the height and the basic uh, structure of our window. We got the pointer design right there. We have our prompts and all that. And then down here is our preview window, which we went through on the last video. If you haven't watched the last video, I recommend going through and watching that. That'll kind of break all this down for you. I'm not going to go through it in this video. But uh, once we get past the preview window, we then move into... Um, <clears throat> excuse me, an if statement. And the if statement is, if the selection is a directory, then you're gonna CD into that directory, the selection being the currently highlighted option. Elif, or else, else if, um, the selection is a file, then it is gonna run through a case statement. Now the case statement is actually gonna run this command here, file-b-mime type. On that selection, it's gonna pipe it into cut 
and it's going to look for a delimiter of the forward slash and it's going to take the first field and that first field is going to either print text or image or video or application or inode um, and so based on whatever comes up it's going to act in a different way so if it comes with text if it decides that that's a text in that case it is going to use NeoVim and it's going to open the selection in NeoVim if it says it's an image it's going to run this um, <clears throat> excuse me it's for loop so for file type in selection do if file type is a .xcf file then it's going to open it in GIMP otherwise it's going to open it in SXIV so you can look at it if it's a video it's going to open it in MPV if it is an application uh, which is going to be like a .docs or a um, .odt file um, then it is going to open it in um, LibreOffice if it is a PDF then it's going to open it in Zathura um, and then if it's an, an inode, um, excuse me, <clears throat> if it's an inode, it is going to go ahead and open it in um, NVIM uh, and uh, yeah, open your selection in NVIM. Uh, then we're going to uh, close the case statement. Um, otherwise, if none of this applies, it's going to break and it is going to um, kill the script. Um, then it is done. And then we're going to clear the screen and call the FCFM function. So let's go ahead and go over to Workspace 2 here. Let's go ahead and launch a terminal again and we're going to clear the screen and we're going to zoom in and we're going to go ahead and run it now. So we're going to do FZFM.SH and hit enter and this is it. You can see if I use up and down I can move up and down throughout the file tree uh, or throughout the directory. If I use left I can go up to now you can see I am in my um, root directory if we go back down you can see I'm back in my user directory if I press right over here I go into the config directory uh, you can also see um, right here if you look over to the right here you can see you have a preview of what's going on there so if I press shift down it will scroll through um, the preview window and show you what's in there um, so then if we go in there and let's go into Alacrity and go to Alacrity Tomal, you can see if I press shift down there, it scrolls through the file so you can kind of see what's going on. If I hit right, there we go. It opens up the file in NeoVim for me. If I quit out, it stays, um, brings me back into the file manager. I can hit uh, left and move myself back up in the file tree. Um, I can move left again and this puts me into my home directory. Now if I scroll down to the bottom here, I've got a tester right here. And so if I press right and go into tester, you can see I've got first, one, Sunday file, test, tester, test two. Let's go ahead and do control T. Control T, Control T, Control T, Control T, Control T. That moved everything out of there. So even if I go out and we go back down to tester, now you see I'm using the keys up and down. I can also type in T E S T D I R and hit enter, and that'll take me into it. But we are now in the tester directory. Let's go ahead and create a file. So to create a file, if you remember, if we go back over here and we scroll back up, I have this bind right here. Control F is going to execute that create file.sh. So we're in here and say we want to add a file to this directory. Um, we can do Control F and it's going to ask us to enter the name of files separated by spaces. We can enter as many files as we want. So if I want to say file one, two, and three and hit enter, you can see I've got file one, two, and three. And if I hit right, you can see it takes me right into that file. I can quit. It takes me into that file. I can quit. So it creates those files for me. If I hit control D, enter a directory name, uh, let's go ahead and say test dir2. You can see I have now created tester2. I can move up into that one. Now let's say I want to copy um, file one into tester two. Well, I can go over file one here. I can hit control C and then I can go into tester. And if I hit control, what did I say it was? Uh, control G. If I do control G, you can see that is now copied that in there. It is still here, but it is also in tester two. Um, and we can quit out of there and go back up and then again if we want to um, go in there and delete that we can do control T and we can clear that out of the way 
So that's basically what we've got going on so far. Um, so I can scroll, I can scroll through my files. I can open up my files and whatever I want to open them up in. Um, I can copy and move stuff around. I can delete stuff. I can create files and directories. So I can do all all sorts of things. All the kind of the main things you can do in most other file managers. Now I still have some stuff to work on. Like I said, I don't have the quote unquote move function set up. It's going to be basically identical to the copy function, but instead of using copy, it's going to use move. Um, I don't have of compress or extract setup yet I still want to do that um, and then I got to do a little work with the multi selection um, but other than that it is a fully working fully usable uh, file manager that uh, actually is spectacular I love the way it works I like the way it functions um, and I'm really happy with it. It might not be as polished and as clean as a lot of the other ones you see out there. I mean, you know, you got stuff like Rangers and stuff that has themes and all this other stuff you can set up. I might go that far with this. I might not. I'm not positive. Um, you can obviously change the theme on your own going into this uh, actual function here and change your color scheme. So I might work with setting up a theme selection. I don't know yet. Um, but that's kind of what I've been doing for the past couple weeks um, outside of my um, Angular, Angular class. Um, I did take my final for Angular and passed. Thank you very much. Um, but uh, uh, I now start Java this term. So I'm going to have fun with that. Uh, but yeah, so that's kind of the uh, extent of what I've got going on, and that's kind of the script that I built, um, my own personal uh, file manager. This is pushed to my GitHub repository, my GitLab repository, so if you're interested and want to check it out or take it and fork it and change it and do whatever else you want to it, it is there and available for you. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoy using this if you decide to use it. So uh, that's all I got for you to do today. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week, and and, you know, just stay safe as always. God bless.